bringing them together uh, and seeking uh, a way ahead, uh, which we strongly support. We very much hope that uh, all of the Security Council will come behind his efforts uh, and continue to support him actively. Uh, and we call on all Libyans to uh, invest in that process, led uh, by the Libyans themselves, but facilitated by the United Nations, to put their country on a stable footing. Ambassador, on the gym, any discussion of a technical rollover to allow for more talks? <coughs> Well, let's, let's see what happens. Though we, what we need is for the gym to have its mandate for the year ahead in a way that allows it to be professional, uh, robust, objective, and depoliticized. What does this mean if you have two competing resolutions, neither get voted on? What does that mean for Syria and the people of Syria? Well, I hope that everyone will vote in favor of the US uh, drafted resolution. That's the only one on the table that would allow uh, the gym to do its job properly in a way that, uh, that it was set up to do in a depoliticized way uh, that allows it to be scientific and objective. And if anyone were to block that, then they would be doing a favor to Daesh uh, as well as to the uh, Syrian regime and allow uh, this awful use uh, of atrocious uh, poison gas uh, yeah. as weapons. Okay, last one, last one, right. let's go. Okay. Yes. Is it certain they're going to block? Well, you'll have to ask them. I hope that everyone will come together. I think that. Okay, thank you, everyone. Talks going on for a compromise today, or further negotiations? Well, there's lots of lots of talk going on, and I hope that it will come to a successful conclusion this afternoon. Okay, thank thank you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you.